Hi, I'm Miles Prodder. Today I'm going to talk about why so many men don't seek out mentors. I'm going to start with a story and it's Sunday morning, 5 a.m. and I wake up and I'm hungover and there's this crow cawing outside making such a racket and I desperate to go back to sleep but I'm wide awake, my mind's racing. All I can think about is last night and I kind of had a good time but sort of in a way feel uh, spent too much money, drank too much, stayed up too late and envying my friends who were in loving relationships and who seemed to have interesting jobs and good bosses and work for good companies and I'm like a, a two-year-old who's too tired to go to sleep and I try watching a film, listening to music and then I try reading a book and there's so many books I know I need to read and I have all this time but I just can't get into it and there's just this hollow feeling and a long time until lunch at the pub. So that was me at 27. I know it matches the experience of a lot of young guys and I had people to talk to, you know, my friends and, and even my dad, but all I really got was opinions and kind of advice. Uh, it just really wasn't very satisfying. I just had no one to help me navigate my way through. And years before at university, I had a professor who really invested in my development and opened up my horizons. He was a wonderful, wonderful mentor. And I didn't even think about that at the time. I'm, I'm lying there in bed and unable to sleep because of all this turmoil going on in my head. And I, I, I know I needed someone to talk to, but who? And I think there is also a real reluctance because, you know, I, I, I really wanted to look like I knew what I was doing and I certainly didn't want to look weak and I didn't want to look at all to my friends like I was a failure. So I was very guarded in what I would say. And I think that matches the experience of a lot of people. And I know some guys have never had anyone mentor worthy in their lives as a role model they can look up to. So they don't know a mentor if they saw one. And a lot of people feel that they're not worth investing in, which is really sad. And some guys, you know, some guys are like, well, things are great. Why, why would I bother having a mentor? And, and you know, but, and, and, and anyway, like, where are you going to find a kind, generous person with time who's willing to invest in me, who's got experience, who I can respect? Those people just don't grow on trees, right? So I think that's all a big myth that we've sort of bought into. And it's like this sort of, I don't know, it's like a blanket over our heads where, you know, we're, we're, we're in this stuffy air and there's no light. And we need to take the blanket off and let the light in and let the breeze flow into our faces. Think about it. Like, wouldn't it be amazing if you're going through a challenging time in life? It could be a transition at work. It could be something in your relationship. It could be having a family. It could be a bereavement. It could be illness. It could be losing your job. Or you could just be feeling lonely or stressed or anxious and just not know what to do about it. Or you could be like, um, I, I, where do I go from here in life? And I, I, I'm not sure. Or it could even be like, I'm on top of the world. Things are great. But where do I steer the ship? What course do I take? You just to have someone to travel alongside you in that sort of situation, someone with some experience, someone who will listen, someone who will help you figure things out for yourself. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, a mentor. A friend told me a really great story. This is what they said. I love my job. But I was burned out and I didn't know where to go to or who to talk to. And then in this training course, a middle-aged gentleman stood up to speak and you could tell he was accomplished. He just seemed kind and interested in people. He could help me, I thought. But how do I ask? Uh, what if he says no? What if he doesn't know who I am? What if he laughs at me or what if he doesn't have the time? H how would I deal with that rejection? Well, I almost convinced myself not to call but I got desperate 
And you know what? It was the best decision I ever made. He invested his time in me. He listened and asked good questions, which made me think. And he saw my potential when I couldn't and supported me in ways I never imagined. You know, sometimes we just have to take a risk and admit we don't have a clue and jump right in. And so we got to reach out and find a mentor because many times they're not going to find us. And it, there's four things I've learned about finding a mentor that are really helpful. First is you got to know why you want one and be ready to explain to your mentor about why you, why you want them to help you and be ready with a, an answer. And it's like, ask, like an open question. You know, I've accomplished this much, but where do I go from here? Or do I stay in this current job or do I look for a new one? Or how do I, how do I reduce the stress in my life? So number two, what kind of mentoring do you want? I mean, do you want someone who's got a big reputation who will open up the doors? Or do you want someone who kind of invests time in your development? Do you want someone who is a good listener and will ask questions or someone who's directive with lots of advice? Number three, how do you ask them? Well, you know, anyone worth asking is going to be busy and probably mentoring other people. So it's good to set the bar low. So you might just even come up to someone once you've identified them and say, hey, look, um, I've got a question for you. I just need a couple of minutes of your time. Is that OK? And most people are really, really happy to do that. And you might go back to, again a few weeks later and slowly develop a relationship with this person. And it, it could evolve into a mentoring relationship. And number four, be ready for their response. Because, you know, most men I know, I'd say it's like one out of 15, one out of 20 have had a mentor. The rest have never had a mentor in their, in their lives and never been a mentor. They don't even know what it is. So if you ask them, they don't know what really what to do. And you have to be patient while they learn. In summary, be brave, trust yourself and trust in the relationship that that you set up with this person. If you know someone is looking for a mentor or you think could use a mentor, show them this video. And if you want to talk to me about professional mentoring, please get in touch, miles at thevaluespartnership.com or on LinkedIn. Look forward to hearing from you.